Hello. Nigel Farage must lead the way. You must lead the way, Mr. Farage, to challenge and stop the cultural dismantling of our Great Britain. Because slavery is only the first port of call of the insidious mindset now being enforced by groups like Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter consists of militant anti-white blacks, befuddled liberal whites, self-hating whites, screwballs and crackpot whites, far-left anarchist leftist whites, and a sprinkling of good people who believe they're doing good but they're not. Because slavery in the form of streets named after slave traders, statues, resident halls and universities, they're just the first port of call before they move on, which they're doing now to the scout leader, Baden Powell, I'll leave a video at the end, the good residents of Poole are defending his good name and his statue, I'll leave the video at the end. They now want his statue removed. And then where does it go from there? To Captain James Cook, Sir Walter Raleigh, and like a good friend said to me earlier on, uh, Nelson's column in London, where does this stop? Well, exactly, it doesn't stop. It stops when they've eventually destroyed our once great past, our lovely great Britain, and it reduced it to the point where we're on our knees begging for mercy. Yes, slavery was a terrible thing, but the answer's not for now for you lot to do it to us, because that's what you're gonna, that's what you're intending to do, right? At the moment, it's just psychological. But as time goes by, it'll be more threatening, it'll be more in your face and we won't have a leg to stand on. That's the good people of this country, right? I'm sure there's many good, God-fearing, Lord of Ireland black people are also outraged as to what's happening because it's not gonna stop with slavery. Like I've said, they've moved on to Baden Powell, the scout leader. Outrageous when you think of that, literally outrageous. Anyway, uh, and then on to Captain James Cook, so Walter Raleigh, the, the list is endless. And like I've said, they're not going to stop until they've got us on our knees begging for mercy. So it's up to us now to challenge and stop this outrage. Nigel Farage, we're counting on you. OK, thank you. Very strongly about this statue. It is here and it is in that position for a reason. It faces Brown Sea Island, which is where the scout movement was founded by Baden Powell. His history has nothing to do with the removal of this statue. So you want it to stay? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. 100%. I will fight you! Just tell me. Good morning. Um, the statue, the council have been told by the police that for its own safety it has to be moved. What's your no, feeling this morning? it should not be. I'm here. I will fight for him. And tell me, what's the strength of feeling in the local community? Everyone. There's nobody against it. They want it here. History, isn't we, we've it? got Part a suggestion for the council. Part of history. They can put a structure around it to keep it safe. What's the problem with that? There's no problem with that. No problem at all. So what are they going to do? Take the pyramids and Cleopatra's needle down? <laughs> the Colosseum. The, the Colosseum. That was slaves. They were racist. And so they? people here in Poole overwhelmingly want the statue well, to stay. Yes, 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 definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, earlier on, Adam, we heard from the deputy leader of the local council, uh, Councillor Mark Howell, and this is what he told us live on Sky News earlier on. I don't link this to the anti-slavery protest. Protests. He did an enormous amount of good. He created an organisation that has brought people from different ethnic backgrounds, races, religions together. And we are very proud of that in Poole. And uh, we want to keep him here in the long term. And that means that we have to protect him in the short term, which is why we are considering uh, temporarily removing him. 